Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Rotel's RMB1555. It's 5 by 120 watt power amplifier. This astonishing multi-channel power amp is one of the best upgrades you can make to any AV receiver with solid uh, aggressive sound when needed but soft and subtle sound when not. This is, an, uh, this is lovely. It is superb. It's so conservatively rated, even though 120 watts, five channels, all channels driven, the amount of power that it can deliver and the amount of control is such a superb upgrade for most AV receivers that this should be considered to be one of the best five channel power amps and single best upgrades you can make to your AV receiver. So, let's have a look. Firstly, Rotel. This is its brown um, freight box. So it's got very little information other than some model numbers, colour delineation, and some serial numbers and other things like that. Opening this first box is very, very straightforward. It's heavy, so manoeuvring and moving this around isn't, isn't easy, but it's proportional to the job that's at hand. So you'll see inside that classic white Rotel inner box. Because the packaging is so uh, neat and tidy, taking the outer box off is relatively difficult just because of the air that uh, needs, to, needs to get in, allowing you to open it up. Now looking at the inner box, it starts again looking like what we'd expect from a 15 series uh, amplifier from Rotel. It's white, it's got an emulation of model and serial number information on one side and the classic Rotel tape holding it closed. Opening this, very straightforward, simple nick and tear. Like all of the larger, heavier products from Rotel, they opt for closed cell foam packaging to protect it. And this ensures that the unit can sustain a little bit of rattling and vibration and freight. In the top, we've got very simply a, uh, uh, a brochure and manual associated with the 15 series multi-channel power amps with the 5 by 200 and 5 by, sorry, 5 by 120 and 5 by 200 watt amplifier lint delineated on the front. It's interesting that they've also included in the accessories some additional um, feet rub sort of pads which are commonly lost as people sort of push this heavy item into racks or under things. Now the next step is going to be relatively straightforward. Like, like anything heavy, you should consider taking the box off the product rather than the product out of the box. So that sort of simple technique can save a significant amount of effort. Obviously what's fallen forward out of here is the IEC power cord. This is a three pin power cord in the amplifier reserve. From this point it's pretty straightforward to take that next part of the closed cell foam and get rid of it and then carefully roll the unit back over. Now what I've caught in the process is a Rotel control cable. This is a 3.5mm mono control cable. Ideal to come out of an AV receiver so that this turns on when you turn on your home theatre amp. Now the oversized bag is easily opened as it's just sort of sellotaped closed. It's folded neatly and this good quality bag simply slips off. Worth mentioning as I unbox it, we slip it over, that Rotel have introduced a fifth foot centrally to help support the uh, large oversized power supplies and add a little bit of chassis stability and uh, improve resonance within that chassis as well. Getting the bag off is relatively straightforward, it's just kind of rocking it a little bit to ensure that we can get it out of the snag points. Now the first thing that you will see is the white covers that uh, protect from scratches or any other marks the, the front corners or cheeks of the amplifier. I always take great pleasure in removing these 
for the first time, giving that very fresh, brand new kind of feel. Looking at the front, it's relatively boring, and it can afford to be, because ultimately a power amplifier like this isn't designed to look elegant, it's designed to perform perfectly. The front is extruded aluminium with a little bit of ventilation. In the middle of the ventilation is a simple standby light, um, and over here is the main switch. That glows blue during operation and uh, lets you know uh, little things about it as far as it's flashing during power and other things along those lines. Looking at the side, you get an understanding of the ventilation that they have introduced um, and the overall depth. This is approximately the same depth as one of their AV receivers, uh, a little bit deeper than their stereo power amplifiers and stereo integrated amplifiers for obvious reasons. The resources inside need a little bit more uh, chassis space. Tilting it up, you get an understanding of how good that ventilation is. It wraps all the way around and ensures that the unit is unlikely to overheat. Uh, please hang around for some photographs. I'll try and get some photographs uh, where you can see some of the inside. Looking at the back, I guess that's where the magic happens. Although being a power amplifier, even magical that it is, it's relatively boring. What we do see is the five analog RCA inputs, grouped in pairs for the left and right, the sur surrounds, uh, centrally for the centre, and then their left and right fronts. We've got an IEC power input, again grounded, You've got the ability to control it via 12 volt, which is on and off here, as well as um, daisy chain them out. So if you've got multiple power amplifiers, you can use one in and then daisy chain to the next if required. Uh, obviously left inputs for fronts and surrounds and good quality five-way binding posts, which are branded Rotel. Center and then the right channels. They're clearly labeled and very, very easy to ensure that uh, connections are done as they should be. One of the reasons that Rotel has grouped these together is in case you choose to buy Amplify and utilize these for fronts only, you can use a simple wire adapter or wire cable to take the one output and then end up by amplifying and by wiring your front speakers, giving a useful improvement, obviously doubling the wattage while maintaining total harmonic distortion. So, this lovely parent, and again, I, I must admit how, how lovely it is to add one of these to an AV receiver. Um, there we have it. Um, Rotel's RMB1555 5 channel um, 120 watt power amplifier unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.